On the bond market side, prices, uh, bond prices are uh, soaring to two-week highs. Yields are falling while rupee has raised some of last week's losses. Lata is here uh, with action in those two markets. Lata, hi. By bond market standards, it's a remarkable rally. And uh, it's like all good things have come together for the bond market. The yields are now at uh, August 4 levels. And if this is pierced, uh, you know, you go below 715, then you actually reach April lows if the bond yields were to fall further. And it's every kind of good news. The first one, of course, being crude and uh, the softening impact on U.S. yields as well. But uh, there have been domestic reasons as well, and that's uh, the July inflation coming in in line. But more importantly, it's a four-month uh, low. I mean, it's speaking off for the past four months since April, likewise for the WPI. And uh, that uh, uh, extremely positive for bond markets because uh, beyond a point, you will start trimming expectations of rate hikes from the RBI as well. But I think the bigger one is this chatter in the bond markets that... Uh, uh, JPM may have to include Indian bonds in their index sooner rather than later. You know, we went into watch in October of 2021 and you're already one year in watch. So the next meeting, I believe, is in September or October and you have to take a decision one way or the other and the expectation is that it could well be that uh, there is an index inclusion. So all that's working in favour of bond yields. The rupee, also a beneficiary of the crude uh, uh, sentiment, but more importantly of FPI flows, which are now, you know, 2 billion in the last couple of weeks. And uh, the rally could have been even smarter in the rupee, except that for four days, people could not buy dollars, importers. And so there are some bunched up uh, buying uh, that is keeping the rally a little muted. Once that bunched up is over, the expectation is that rupee could rally all the way to 78.50. Uh, 78.